can I ask you, are you happy with the result? Because there will be a lot of people saying Frankenstein creatures and whatever. How, how happy are you with what you've got? Really, really happy. Really, really pleased. Delighted, yeah, yeah delighted, yeah, they're beautiful. But are they like Dylan? So Dylan was your beloved boxer who yeah. died last year. And the idea of cloning, obviously, is to, to keep his memory, I know, but does, are they actually similar to him in any way? Do they, their personalities, any similarities yeah. there? Yeah, they are really similar. Um, they look just like him, but these guys are a bit skinnier. They hated the food over there, so I'm trying to fatten <laughs> them up a bit. Um, and the markings are slightly different because the markings can always vary. And personality-wise, they're both really similar to Dylan, but there's, you can tell the differences between each other easier than you can between those and Dylan because I'm having to remember back like nine years. So he's a bit more calmer and cuddly, and Chance is a bit more mischievous. He's the one who'll knock everything off the table. And what are the vets and, and the medical people telling you about life expectancy? Is it expected to be shorter for these dogs because they're cloned? No, not necessarily. Um, the laboratory that we used, um, they keep a check of all the dogs that they've done. They've done, I think it's about 800 dogs now. And so far they've all had like normal, healthy, healthy lives. Mm -hmm. um, they've been to my vets for a checkup and they're in really good health and everything. So yeah, they should just have, um, live like any other normal dogs really. Now a lot of the dog charities will say, oh, there are so many dogs that need rehoming so many dogs that are waiting for their happy you know forever home yeah. um, and some people might say well it's a bit isn't it a bit selfish that you go and do this where you could have adopted a, a probably a boxer actually yeah. if you looked hard enough yeah I mean we weren't actually planning on, on getting another dog um, we do have these four extra dogs but it's not like they've taken up four spaces of um, some rescue dogs. Um, it's just by chance. I mean, the main reason we went ahead with the cloning was because we tried to freeze Dylan's cells, but because the cells were too weak to freeze, rather than waste them, we said, right, we'll go ahead and try the cloning, thinking it was surely not going to work because it's never worked before in the world after that length of time. Um, so the fact it did, and then there were two, and we've got these mums home, and I've never been able to adopt a rescue dog before. Yes, we just say the mums were just, so you're saying four dogs, yeah. so there were two separate surrogate mothers, yes, yeah. and you ended up, this was um, Safi and Hope, yeah. you couldn't bear to leave them behind, no. so you brought them home too. Yeah, yeah. And they're not boxers though, are they? No. 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 Well, what did you say? You were saying there you've never been able to adopt a rescue dog. Yeah, I've tried adopting rescue dogs quite like probably tens and tens of times, but for various reasons I've not been allowed before. Um, and through doing this, I've been able to take these mums home who didn't have a home already. So I'm, I'm really like, and I love, we love the mums to bits. Yeah, they're see, amazing. I, I think what the animal charities are worried about, as Ruth said, we've got this, um, you know, this epidemic of, of dogs that don't have homes, that people yeah. don't care, and they'd be looking for loving homes that, that people like yourself would give to them. But as this treatment becomes cheaper, you guys went out there, Richard, and you spent a lot of money yeah. pioneering at the minute. But as the price of this falls, you could see so many other people doing it, couldn't you? Oh, definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're just like Dylan's puppies. You know, we don't think they're Dylan, we're just, they're just like his puppies. Mm -hmm. I think you if know? people are doing it to try and recreate the dog that they lost, that's a bad idea. I think the cell banking is a good idea. Um, it's quite a small amount of money and you can get through your grieving and decide and whether you want to do it, because I think if you make a decision out of grief, that's probably the wrong one. And tell me how, Laura, they do sell banking. What's involved in that? Um, so basically, you get the, once your dog's died, or you can do it while your dog's alive, um, they take some skin cells, and mm. over in the laboratory in South Korea, they, um, they do something magical, some kind of electric shock to these cells, and it makes mm. them grow in number, and then they freeze them in liquid nitrogen. So that if you ever do want to do a clone later down the line, and um, you can do, but in my head that would have satisfied me. I'd have felt like there was still a yes. piece of my baby. And how much would that process cost? Just that to get to that stage. About three thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. But this whole process has cost you seventy thousand. So this is trips over there. You were at the birth of of these puppies. Yeah, we were birth at the birth. Yeah. yeah. And what then was I, that like? Oh God, it was. It was. I felt like I was dreaming. It was, um, yeah, it was crazy. It was really, really good, though. And yeah. when you look at them now, how do you feel about Dylan particularly as well? I mean, ever since Dylan's gone, I've tried to block him out as much as I can. I've still not fully de dealt with it, and I know that. Um, so I try and just see them as, as Dylan's puppies, just too new. I mean, we're so busy looking after them. They're, mm. uh, when they're all settled down and they're, they're quiet like this and you just think, God, they look just like him, it does feel a bit strange. Mm. But, I mean, I'm glad the markings are different. 
Come yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just final question to you, Shadow and Chance here, uh, as they get older, are you going to do the same again? Are you going to bank their cells? No, no. You know, dealing with Laura's dog, uh, Laura's first dog, and you know, now all our dogs are our dogs. You know, we'd be able to grieve together. I would have thought. Guys, okay. mm -hmm. you make they a very good gorgeous. family. Thank uh, you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos, exclusive to our channel. Over seven foot tall, weighing twelve stone. But enough about Ruth. The dog. <laughs> The dog it is It is a good job I find you funny, isn't it? Me I do too. love everyone on Twitter going, you're horrible. You wish you only weighed 12 stone. I wish you I wish did wish weigh 12 stone.